stability of messenger RNA and codon choice. If all the requirements for protein synthesis or translation are available, in other words, we can say that if translational machinery is there, uh, even then the rate of expression of the cloned gene, it is dependent upon the uh, stability of the messenger RNA. So there must be a steady state level of messenger RNA that uh, can be deflected in terms that uh, uh, there must be a balance between uh, the messenger RNA that is being synthesized and degraded. If we have strong promoters that can maximize the expression of the cloned uh, DNA, it is uh, equally good. But on the other hand, if we uh, manage the time of degradation of messenger RNA or to enhance the stability of messenger RNA, it is equally good. Uh, so in case of messenger RNA degradation in the biological system or in the living cell, a uh, combination of two enzymes, uh, they determine the stability of messenger RNA. One of the group of enzymes is the endonuclease and other is a three prime exonuclease activity. So both these two enzymes they can attack the messenger RNA and degrade it. On the other hand, if messenger RNA, it is stable in vivo, ke biological system mein, agar kisi messenger RNA ki jo stability hai, uh, wo zyada hai, so even then, it is susceptible to degradation by these two enzymes. But its uh, susceptibility, it will depend uh, upon the uh, sequence of the nucleotides in the messenger RNA, its secondary structure it is also very important and the association of messenger RNA with macromolecules like the uh, ribosome, it can also influence the stability of messenger RNA in the biological system. In the biological system or in vivo, the degradation of messenger RNA it is uh, mainly mediated by two type of uh, three prime to five prime exonuclease activity or enzymes uh, like the RNS2 and polynucleotide uh, phosphorylase. So these two enzymes they are important in the degradation of messenger RNA in the biological or in the living system. These two enzymes uh, they can uh, act on the messenger RNA and degrade it. But if messenger RNA, they have secondary structure at the three prime end, then the degradation, it may be uh, impeded or it may be slowed down. So, because of this reason, ye zaruri hai ke pehle jo endonuclease enzyme ki category hai, wo pehle messenger RNA ko degrade kare, Take three prime and expose whom, or then a three prime exonuclease activity may be there. Lekan kuch zatar messenger RNA jo hai wo three prime secondary structure ki wajah se resistant hote hain. To is purpose ke liye endonuclease ki jo activity hai ye badi zaruri ho jati hai. Now, there may be different type of uh, endonucleases that can degrade messenger RNA and one of the category is RNAs E. So, this RNAs E, it can increase the turnover rates or the degradation of the messenger RNA. On the other hand, if uh, we use the mutants uh, that are defective in RNAs E biosynthesis, then the messenger RNA degradation, it may be slow down. But it has been observed that even the mutants of RNAs E, they are able to degrade messenger RNA. The reason is that uh, the living system or the microbes, they are not only containing RNAs E, but in addition to that, they contain 
other types of RNAs like the RNAs K, RNAs M and RNAs M and uh, R. So these are different type of uh, uh, RNAs that can uh, degrade messenger RNA even in those mutants that are deficient in RNAs uh, E. So the combination of endonucleases and 3 prime exonuclease activity they are very important to determine the stability of messenger RNA in vivo. In addition to the stability of messenger RNA uh, other factors like the codon choice during the process of protein synthesis it is also very important. We have the idea that uh, uh, the degeneracy is there in case of triplet codon uh, for different amino acids. Ya hum ye keh sakte hain ki ek amino acid ke liye ek se zyada codon hote hain and this situation we can call it as the degeneracy of the genetic code. Agar degeneracy hai to kaun sa code jo hai wo use hoga uh, it is also very important in order to determine the rate of expression of the cloned gene and even uh, in the natural genes the selection of the codon in case of degeneracy it is non-random it is not ra not random rather it is non-random that is selectivity process is there uh, for the codon choice uh, in case of degeneracy and this codon choice again it depends upon two factors so, the first factor is that transfer RNAs ki availability ki ratio is in the cell. This is an important factor. And the second factor is codon choice. The third base is pyrimidine or not. Whether it contains cytosine or uracil. So, this factor of the presence of pyrimidine at third position of the codon, it can also influence the expression of the cloned gene. So, this is not only related to degeneracy of the genetic code and its selectivity uh, for gene expression, rather the stop codon, they can also determine that whether gene it is going to express highly or not. For example, if the stop codon is UAA, then uh, it was observed that the gene expression it is relatively high as compared to other stop codon like uh, UAG or UGA. So uh, even the stop codon it can also determine the expression of cloned gene.